if you are invited to a party, that's diversity. But if you are invited to dance, then that's inclusion. Give us the formula. What are you drinking? What, what are you up to? <gülüyor> exactly. <And> my... <gülüyor> İngilizce konuşacağız ister istemez. Of, <gülüyor> of course. Dear Leyla, thanks for joining Faces from Places. And this time we are back to my home country, Turkey. Perfect. Murat, thank you for inviting me. I realize this is a very special initiative. I thought I was watching you on LinkedIn. Such a creative initiative. So thank you for picking me to represent Turkey. Uh, Leyla is a mom of an 18 year old phenomenal guy. Leyla is a wife. I'm married to an academician. Leyla is a computer engineer, electrical engineer. I am also leading all things technology for Coca-Cola HJ. Whoever you work with and whoever I know, and generally they recognize that part of their business life is the best time of our life. Everyone remembers the time that we worked together with you in Istanbul. Thank you, Murad. I am still keeping that picture, the dream team picture. Uh, and I'm I'm trying to create you know new teams, but that team was extremely special. Coca Cola HJ is part of the Coca Cola system, uh, so Coca Cola company and butlers are making up the system. Uh, Coca Cola company is the one that actually owns the content and all the IP with the content and the consumer side of the value chain. And butlers are the sales distribution, uh, so the supply chain, the sales, the distribution organization is with the butler organization, hence the customers. So mom and pop shops, retailers, restaurants, Horeca, Channel, etc. are the ones where butlers serve. CI in short, Coca-Cola HJ, and CCI in short, so you'll be hearing CCI a lot, mm -hmm. uh, is the sixth largest butler in the system in terms of revenue and second largest in terms of the consumer, so the population that we serve. It is a company that was grown out of Turkey, uh, mm -hmm. multinational out of Turkey, so it has operations in uh, 10 countries. Uh, like you said, you know, I've been, I think I moved to US two and a half times. So one, one of that was when my husband moved because of his career and I was commuting. I think the, there are some significant differences and some of them are coming from the culture, I believe. One is around recognition. Uh, what I see is, especially in the corporate culture that maybe we grew up in, uh, you see the insights people being very comfortable providing constructive insight and that bringing lots of recognition. And I think that's extremely important for a team to, to have a really good team. You have to give insight. You have to recognize the team. I think that doesn't come very easily in some of these cultures. Uh, so that brings uh, the lack of recognition, I believe. And then unfortunately, uh, Murat, what I'm also seeing is the depth is missing in terms of the level of expertise. So that's kind of what I've been noticing. There is an organization called yenidenbiz.org. Yes, uh, it's the NGO. I'm, I'm a board member. Yeah. Yes, Murat, such a, I mean, you just hit a very important point in my life. Life. Two experiences in my life. One is one was in Africa. Maybe we'll have a chance to talk about it. So I'm not going to give all the details. And one experience in the U.S. Those two experiences happened back to back four or five years ago. And that's when it, they helped me to define my higher purpose in life. And I wish I defined that much earlier. Uh, so uh, I guess it was early 40s, let's say, when I I had that aha moment and I said, okay, my higher purpose. Uh, should be to give back more to women and girls to get them into STEM and to help women to get into the workforce. I initiated an initiative called Women in DT to support women and hold their hands to grow them in their career. And I came across Yeni Danbiz, uh, amazing set of women who are giving back to other women deep from their heart. They are all professional, they have careers, they are wives and moms, and in addition, they are giving back. Uh, and our goal is to support women to get back into the workforce, and specifically those women who have to halt their careers for various reasons. It could be health, it could be taking care of kids, it could be taking care of parents. And now, Murat, my team and I have a priority called Give Back. Uh, we are actually teaching them robotics and automation now. So, Leila, <laughs> you work more than everyone in the organization, <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> 
um, and you came very early. You every morning you came very fit, good makeup, and well dressed, and same motivation. So really, <laughs> this is a serious question. <laughs> How you make it? Murat, it's so, the reason I'm laughing is <laughs> this is such a consistent feedback. So when I was leaving US, my dear team uh, in G Healthcare Enabling Functions, I have to mention them. Such a dear team. Uh, they they did this very well, and they said, "Okay, Leila, now that you are leaving, give us the give us the formula. What are you drinking? What what are you up to?" <laughs> exactly. And my my current team is seeing exactly the same thing. The magic portion is that I am passionate about what I do. I, I'm passionate. I think I'm passionate about everything that I do. So when I'm with people, and when I know that I'm doing something that will in some way help someone. That that really uh, is a big driver for me. And I swim now three times a week. Now due to COVID-19, unfortunately, mm -hmm. pools are closed. So I have this long break. Uh, but regular times, I swim three, four times a week. And uh, that keeps me going as well. That's very important. Um, something like this. And there's one more uh, here. Such a great idea. I think my mom supporting and driving my ambition, uh, getting the education that I wanted, um, being the engineer. I think that was, and for some reason, I guess we arrived to a certain age when we kind of start to go back and reflect. I don't know if I had a chance to tell this to my mom, but I, that has been, that's definitely the turning point, becoming an engineer. And from that point on, always being in the world of technology, and the second one is probably my husband. Uh, so Super. big turning points. One, um, meeting him in US and you know getting married and then him being an academician in engineering. I learned so much from him. Uh, and I think he, he's a natural mentor. I don't know if he knows this. I hope he doesn't <laughs> enter the room. We were all studying some new technologies and updating exactly. us. By the way, we continue here. So I do this with my team. <laughs> and we That's call great. Coffee Talk on AI and new technologies. I read a lot of books and I, I pay attention to, you know, when somebody's talking and saying, oh, you know, I read this great book, I right away jot down. I, you know, I think you mentioned to me once through when we were messaging about a book, I went and bought that book. New to big. New to big. Yes. Uh, you know, so I, I hear... I come across lots of books. Uh, you know, I'm part of I'm part of Gartner Research Board. So in those sessions, also we come across, you know, good books and um, and I read books as a reference book. So I think that's something that I was going to be an academician actually. You know, I think I forgot <laughs> to mention that. So I really you move to, move to the industry. <laughs> exactly. I'm reading books like a reference book. I don't read the whole book. I read sections depending on what's my interest. The second one, uh, Murat, is I learn from people. Uh, that's the fastest way to learn. And it's kind of two groups. One is my peers. Uh, so through Gartner Research Board, I have now, you know, uh, a group of peers all across the globe. I have my good old network, my colleagues who are in the same field. So I send them a text, pick up the phone, have a chat on a topic. Uh, that's the best way to learn. Uh, and then I have a great team and I learn from them. You created your algorithms through the people around you. Exactly. <laughs> so they, they are capturing the information and they are keeping themselves up to date and filtering and giving the right data and information to you in the right time. Filtering exactly. They are just happy people. You know, people in Bosnia, um, they have, their perspective is, um, they don't live to work, they work to have fun, to, to get together with a family, but it's in their spirit. I think I miss that a lot. What I would change, uh, Murat, I think, uh, and I believe most of us are now discussing across the globe, I would really, really focus on creating inclusive cultures. You know, we talk about diversity a lot, a lot. Okay, so you have all this diversity, but if you don't, if people don't feel like they belong to a society, to a company, to, I don't know, anything, you lose that. If you are invited to a party, that's diversity. But if you are invited to dance, then that's inclusion. People are at the epicenter of everything. People create the culture, people execute, people are the ones who 
who achieve the target without people you are nothing you don't exist they don't know what <laughs> means <laughs> exactly <laughs> i think i have this gesture where like seriously you know exactly <laughs> you have even if i don't say seriously i'm gonna do like <laughs> go on <laughs> uh, it's an african proverb that says if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together and guess what murat we actually created our architecture strategy based on this proverb Interesting. and we said and the whole digital strategy uh, because we had to do mindset shifts in our company i said it's not about just going fast it's about going far and fast exactly. from adam grant about think again so i haven't received it yet so i'm looking forward to reading that book and i have a copy of mindset carol dweck if i can be better than yesterday even <laughs> stop is that's enough yeah so that's such a great thought yeah when i finish my job i ask myself am i better than yesterday did i learn today something if it is yes then i feel that there are certain priorities that are set and never change uh it's definitely people whatever happens i will have that one on one even if it's 10 pm I actually have a 9 p.m. one on one with Asla tonight, Murat. I'll tell her about the the <laughs> session. Thanks for being the role model. Thank you, Leila. Murat, thank you so much for your kind words. I I really appreciate uh being in the same team with you was amazing. You know, I so many times came to you and asked you to come back, you didn't. <laughs> so, you love what you do obviously. Uh, but it's such a pleasure to be again with you on this session thank you so much for inviting me it's my pleasure uh, and looking forward to connecting again murat <laughs>